Hi everyone, and welcome back to your real conversation video lesson with me, your teacher, Chris. It's great to have you back, and if you're new here, it's nice to meet you. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe, I have lots of new videos that come out. I'm trying to make a video like this, a conversation lesson, every day. Uh, sometimes I do too. Yesterday I released two videos. So subscribe and ring the bell. That way you can practice all of my lessons with me and you get a good chance to practice your speaking skills. Yeah, and if you like the video, hit the like button. I love seeing those. Leave a comment down below with your answers to today's questions and I will get back to them as soon as I can to correct them so that you can use these natural answers and play the video again to practice more. I've been working with my publisher on my second children's book that I'm writing with my daughter. So I've <laughs> been having a hard time catching up with the comments, but I am, ooh, there was a big truck. But I am definitely answering the questions as they come. I just very, very busy lately, but don't worry. I will answer your questions. Just give me a few days. <laughs> okay, today's topic is television. So this should be interesting because long ago, television was very important to family structure and society. But now with the internet, this should be an interesting topic. So let's have a conversation about TV. Now remember, I will ask the question and give you some time to answer me, okay? Answer me, tell me what your thoughts are. And then we will go on to, well, the air conditioner. We will go on to the next uh, question and at the end I will give you my answers. So remember, answer me, try and talk to me naturally. I'll give you some time. And if there's ever a difficult question, Pause the video. Our last lesson about the meaning of life had difficult questions. It is okay to pause the video and try and think of an answer and then play it and answer me. That is perfectly okay. When it's a tough question, take the time and form a good answer. You know, that's, that's the best part. And I have water here because it's very hot here today. Okay, question number one. How often do you watch TV? Hmm. That should have been a short answer, I think, for most people. Should you, oh wait, sorry. Should everyone have a television in their home? Anytime there's a should question, you have to explain a little bit. If the question says what, you know, it gives you a question and says why, then explain more, okay? But when it's just a should question, a little explanation is usually plenty. Remember, this is a conversation that you're having, so you don't have to go into very long answers because if the person you're communicating with wants more information, they will ask for it. So keep some answers short and only give more information when it's requested. Question number three, what is the best way to watch television on a television set, a computer, a tablet, or a phone? Hmm. I think that's, I think that's how people do it here too. Question number four. What television programs are popular in your country? Hmm. 
Hmm. Wow, that was weird. <laughs> I wonder if the microphone picked that up. It sounded like someone fell on the floor upstairs. <laughs> I hope they're okay. All right. <clears throat> Question number one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, that distracted me. Question number five. What do you think is the future of television? Hmm. Hmm. The future is going to be very interesting for television, certainly. What is your opinion about television? Everyone has a very different opinion about the value of television. So I'm excited to see your answer. And the last question, we had a lot on this one. If you had a TV show, what would it be like? Mm. That sounds like a cool show. Sometimes I wonder how sensitive this microphone is because you'll see me in the video watching like huge trucks. <laughs> I can't see it because I'm in a huge building, but I can hear it so loud. <laughs> Sometimes I, I hope that you can't. Okay, I'll give you my answers to these questions today before another person upstairs falls. <laughs> I really hope they're okay. Question number one, how often do you watch TV? Not easy, I never watch TV. I have a TV in my house that has been unplugged for about four years now. Every once in a while, if there's a very interesting fight, like, um, like a sporting event or something, and my brother says, hey, you have to watch this, um, I'll plug my TV in and watch it, but usually I'm, just so busy, I don't watch it. So I, I leave my TV unplugged. Should everyone have a television in their home? No, I, I honestly don't think so. In long ago, yes, maybe that would have been beneficial, but I don't think people need a television. So that's why I, I don't think everyone should have one. You don't need it. It's completely unnecessary to life. Without a television, you can still get information and entertainment from other ways, probably much healthier ways. Three, what is the best way to watch television? On a TV set, a computer, a tablet, or a phone? Don't. <laughs> I mean, for convenience factor, a phone or a tablet is, is very easy. My, my phone that I have over there, it has actually a built-in TV tuner. Korea is very interesting about that. Their phones all have this DMB uh, app application that lets you watch TV on your phone. It's, it's, it's cool, but like I said, I never use it. So that would be for me, it, it, this question, I'd have to answer it in a convenience factor as my only way of gauging which is the best. Question number four. What television programs are popular in your country? It's an interesting question. Here in South Korea where I'm living, it seems like every place I go when the TV is playing in restaurants or another location, it's an eating channel. Everyone is fascinated by watching other people eat food. Not even, it's, it's like um, chatting and eating food. So. I don't get it. I understand what they're doing and sometimes it's it's funny, but for the most part, I don't understand the attraction of watching people eat food. 
<laughs> kind of creeps me out a little bit. Um, in America, when I was a child, the most commonly used or commonly watched programs were the news. Most people worked a job and then at night they watched the nightly news to see what was happening around the world and in their areas. Nowadays, I would say it's dominated by reality TV, which has its positives, but I think it has a lot more negatives than anything. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. What do you think will be the future of television? I think television as a thing will disappear. I think televisions as what they were, something that a cable came in from the wall, plugged into the TV, and you watched your media on it. That is going to disappear. We already have smart TVs. We have TVs in our phones and the ability to watch television streaming on the internet. I think the physical television is going to just stop being necessary. People won't buy it because they don't use it. It's going to be like a fish tank, a hobby or some you know, interesting thing that's in the house that we can enjoy, but it's completely unnecessary. I think that in terms of media, talking about television, not as a physical thing, but as what it's capable of doing, I think uh, television will change into the internet, which we already have now, which will in turn change into something that, um, transcends, it actually leaves the device and becomes more a part of us, where it's more auditory and visual in a, in more of a three-dimensional way. I think that's kind of where we're going, where it's going to be some type of augmented reality, you know, some type of virtual reality way of getting our media, where maybe we're immersed in whatever content it is, which we've already got some, we can already see some of this. But I think that's where it's going. <clears throat> Excuse me again. So the very, very bad allergies this year. What is your opinion on television? I think television's purpose has been lost. It's completely unnecessary in life. And it's been replaced by the immediate availability of information and video content on the internet. It's just unnecessary. I think a lot of the, <clears throat> excuse me, I need a drink again. I think a lot of the television shows that were once popular are not interesting to the people anymore because society has drastically changed. So I think television is unnecessary. If you had your own TV show, what would it be like? Well, <clears throat> be sad because I don't think TV is going to continue, but <laughs> let's assume, let's assume that this means internet as well. If I had my own TV show, I would love to actually have a way to teach people meaningful skills in life. I'm not talking about like woodworking or welding or, or building stuff. I mean, useful skills that people, our grandparents and our parents knew, but now as we've grown into a more technological society, we've forgotten how to do. I would love to have a television show that shows people these things that exist that they probably don't know how to use or don't understand. One of them, one of them would be how to manage your money. You saw that in one of our previous lessons where we talked about money management. I think that would be something that's necessary. My television show would explain necessary information to people who probably never even thought about needing it, but if they did, they have that knowledge. So that's something I would like to do. And if you liked this lesson, hit the like button. Thank you very much. I really like that. <laughs> and if you're new here and you enjoyed this lesson, hit the subscribe. Share this video in your groups with your friends. I know a lot of you have been doing that and thank you so much. I've been getting lots of new people on the channel and on the Facebook fan page, which is cool. So I really appreciate that. And I'm so happy that everyone is enjoying these lessons. So 
You guys are doing amazing. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.